Hi guys, Jamie and Sarah here. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we've wanted to try this idea for a long time and we finally found the perfect chairs. We found two chairs that are fabric that we're actually going to paint to make them look like leather. So stick around to see the transformation and how much we made from the flip. So we were out just driving around today with the girls and we happened upon an estate sale, a really big one, so we stopped and she was actually closing up. So she gave us these for $10 a piece. So we paid $20 for them, but they're in really bad shape. Like the gold is really starting to deteriorate on it. The fabric's pretty dirty. So we're gonna have to clean them up. And I think we're gonna actually sand this down and paint it again. Um, but the shape of the chairs is awesome. That's what we really liked about them. And then we're gonna do this really cool trick we saw that Lone Fox did, we'll link his below, where he actually used paint with fabric softener and painted chairs to make them look like leather. I have no idea if it's gonna work. His turned out awesome. We'll see how we do. So I think it's gonna be a really cool transformation and then when it's done, we're gonna go ahead and sell these and see what we can get for them. So we're gonna get started by cleaning these up and then Jamie's gonna sand down the gold and then we're gonna paint that first and then we have to tape that off to paint the actual leather part on. So we're gonna get started with the gold paint first. All right, so before we paint these, I'm just gonna take a quick uh, round of sanding to it. I'm just gonna use 220 grit. A lot of the shiny surface is already pretty damaged, but I'm just gonna rough up the rest of it so that the spray paint will stick really nice to it. Jamie just finished sanding these, so now I'm gonna go ahead and paint them with our trusty pure gold Rust-Oleum paint. So we just finished painting the metal on these chairs gold. Um, so we're ready to paint on the leather look. Um, it actually requires three different paint colors because you have to do some like shading. I'll write down below what colors I chose. I actually just did exactly what Lone Fox did because um, his chair was beautiful. So definitely check his video out. So the first thing I'm gonna do is mix half of this paint mixture with half fabric softener. So I'm gonna do two ounces of each. Um, and it creates a really weird consistency. And then that's what's gonna cause it to be nice soft leather, I think, supposedly. And then I'm also gonna have a spray bottle with water mixed with fabric softener to get the chair wet. So let's see how this goes. Ruby called this one poop colored. <laughs> so it's gonna be beautiful. All right, I bought the off-brand fabric softener. That does not, okay. Ooh, ooh, okay, that's good. Perfect, I'm sure. Let's stir it up. Check it out. Uh-oh. It's kind of blue looking. Uh-oh. She's supposed to use blue fabric softener? Is there white? I don't know. Oh no. I think most fabric softeners are blue. I think his might have been white though. Hold on, I think it might be coming through. Hey, perfect. Well, I don't know. I'm just gonna dump it. There we go. All right. Apparently there's a paint shortage. I had to go to two stores to get this and all they had left was eggshell, so hopefully that's okay. All right, what's the verdict? I'm not feeling great about this. It doesn't look like leather. I mean, I'll keep trying, but I don't like it so far. Well, don't you have to do all the other colors still? Yeah, but... I don't know. Is it just not going, maybe thicker you have to put it on? I don't, I put it on super thick. I used like a ton of, probably half of it on this one little cushion. Hmm. Did he say what brand fabric softener you used? He used Downy. Oh, you didn't buy Downy? I didn't want to spend the extra $3. I had such high hopes. I'm starting to give up. I don't look like leather. I started to panic because it's not looking so great. So I did some research and I found some other people who have done it with sandpaper to kind of smooth it out. So I'm gonna do that. I think it's gonna take a lot more coats and a lot more paint than I thought. I thought a sample was gonna be enough, but that wasn't even enough for one coat. So I'm gonna try sanding it and doing another coat. It's not feeling like leather yet, um, but hopefully as time goes on, it will.
All right, so Sarah just about gave up on this project last night. Um, so I decided to take over for her this afternoon. Uh, the frustrating thing is that the paint just soaked right into the fabric. I have something I like to call a redneck hair dryer. I'm going to use <laughs> between each coat, so hopefully I can dry it quickly and get it done before the girls get home. It also has been using way more paint than we expected, so I had to go back to Lowe's and get a full gallon of the main color. Um, so the plan is after this coat is dry, just to take a piece of sandpaper and knock down all the fabric fibers. And then hopefully after several layers of paint, it'll cover it completely and it'll look like leather. It seemed to work for the other channels that have done this, so uh, we're going to try it. All right, so unless you're from the Midwest, you probably have not seen one of these before. Uh, but basically, it's a heater to heat up a large room in the wintertime. There's also other uses. Uh, it could dry your hair if you have wet hair, or maybe even dry furniture that you've painted. So. Uh, we're going to give it a try. Hopefully it can dry these chairs quickly. All right, so I'm really glad I used that heater. It only took about 40 minutes for these to completely dry, so I can start my next coat. You can tell this one has two coats on it already, um, and it already looks a little bit smoother than this one. This one is still pretty rough. Um, it just looks like painted fabric. So. Uh, I'm going to basically just keep sanding in between coats and hopefully I can get a few more on today. So after about seven coats of paint, Jamie put on these yesterday, a torrential downpour came, we brought them inside. It's kind of been a terrible project. Um, I don't know why people, when you see these projects on YouTube, they look so easy. This one was not easy. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys and tell you that. So if you wanna do it yourself, I'm not sure this is a great way to flip furniture to make money. It is a cool way to do furniture if you want a leather looking piece for your house. I would say these are looking more like vinyl than leather. I'm gonna start doing the shading here shortly. So hopefully that shading makes it look a little more leather-esque. But I'll share with you guys how I do all that. It's kind of just like blending it all together. So I gave Jamie the day off from painting the chairs because he was exhausted by it. He's out hanging out with the girls. I'm gonna be in here and hopefully finish this today. It's been a few days that we've been working really hard on these. But before we get into that, I wanted to introduce today's video sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community where creatives can come together to take thousands of different classes. They have everything on there from photography and illustration, design, marketing, anything you could really imagine. If you wanna learn about it, Skillshare offers that. The reason that we really love Skillshare is that there's classes on there that can help you learn a skill to actually make money which is what our channel is really about, is just unique ways to make money outside of your nine to five so that if you wanna quit your nine to five, you can, or if you just really need an extra way to make some income. So if you don't feel like you have a skill already that you can monetize, there's thousands of classes on there that can help you learn skills and things like how to market it and how to have good communication with your clients and that kind of thing. My favorite class right now is called Starting a Successful Side Hustle by Ali Abdul. As you guys know, we love our side hustles around here. We really think it's a great way to get ahead. Ali is just really fun to listen to. He's really motivated. He's got some really great tips on time management and how to find a good side hustle. Um, so I definitely recommend checking that class out. Uh, we will leave a link below and the first 1,000 people to click on that and sign up will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So let's get back into painting. So this is how we're gonna do this. I have three paint colors. This is the main color. It's called Cafe Meal by Valspar. Um, that is the color that Jamie put seven coats on. Uh, we used almost like two thirds of a gallon. I bought a sample originally and clearly wasn't enough. These two I did buy just samples and that was enough. So these are what we are gonna use for shading. So this middle color is Natural Cork by Valspar. Um, and so that's gonna go into the shadows and kind of blending in. I'll show you what I'm gonna do here. And then the darkest color is called Cowboy Boots by Valspar and that's gonna go really deep in the creases. And then I'm gonna kinda just blend it all together, just kind of creating those natural highlights and shadows. Um, so that's how we're gonna do it. It's not an exact science. I'm not an artist. Um, I'm hoping it's kind of like therapeutic and fun. I think it'll be good. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm gonna get started with and show you how I do that. All right, so I just finished this one. It's still really wet. 
but you can kind of see the difference that the shading is making here it's, it's making it just look a little more real and like leather it's darkening it up a bit so we're gonna get it dry and that one should be done we're gonna peel off the tape and hopefully it looks good I'm gonna start working on this one now so I'm gonna show you guys what I did I kind of did a practice run there all right so I'm gonna start by getting it all wet with my original color it doesn't really need another coat lord knows but it helps kind of blend it all together when i bring in my darker colors so we're just getting it wet here and because of the fabric softener it really stays wet for a long time can you see what i'm doing <laughs> so now i'm bringing in my um middle color my like medium color brown and i'm gonna put this where all the shadows would be or all the creases okay because it's so wet it's pretty forgiving i personally like this medium brown color a lot better than the light so i'm kind of adding in a lot and kind of mixing it all together i don't think it's an exact science it's just kind of what you like so we're going to do that and then just make sure you're getting rid of brush strokes and kind of bringing it all together. So anywhere where there would be a shadow, so anywhere where lines kind of move downward, that's where I'm putting the darker. So now this very last color is this dark color that we're gonna do a little bit less of and just really in the creases there. Can you guys see that? So this is creating that darkest, deepest shadow. So I don't want to bring this dark color out too much. So I'm going to go back and get my medium brush to kind of blend it. I think this is going to be pretty. I don't know. So you guys kind of get the idea. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up in all the creases and we'll see the final product once it dries in like 24 hours. 24 hours later. So after I did all the shading on these chairs, I'm really happy with how they turned out. I was a little bit leery there in the middle as they were actually going to be cool, but the shading really did make them look like leather. You guys saw that I kind of blended it all in in the creases and that just helped it give that nice patina look. Um, yeah, so these turned out really great. We paid $20 a piece for these chairs. We have another $50 in materials because we used a lot of paint. Um, but they are pending right now for $200, so $130 profit. Not the best, not the worst, especially for how much time we put in these. We don't love those numbers, but um, at least we're making something from them, and I got to try a really fun, cool new project. So this is from our couch. This is real leather. Um, so we wanted to kind of show you and compare the colors. I think it's pretty stinking close, so check this out. So this is real leather, and then this is the chair. Not bad. Not bad. I mean, they're different colored browns, but kind of like that same look. This is definitely, the real leather is definitely softer. Um, and then this is a little more like vinyl, a little shinier, but for like a, a painted piece, I'm pretty impressed with it. So the reason that we really like these chairs is just the cool shape of them. We think they have a lot of style. Um, so I think that they're a really unique piece and they'll look really cool in someone's home. So I was actually pretty impressed with what the fabric softener did to the paint. Uh, basically, it just makes it flexible and it won't crack. So um, I think it's going to be pretty sturdy over time, especially because we used almost a gallon of paint. That's pretty thick on there. So I don't anticipate any scratches or anything like that being a problem. So here's the thing. If you were going to try to make money and you got chairs for next to nothing, which we did, we only paid $10 a piece for them, uh, I think it might be worth it for your time. But if you pay over that, it's definitely not worth it. You're not going to make enough profit um, for the amount of hours you have to put into it. So if you want some faux leather chairs for your home, this is a really cheap option, but we do not recommend mm -hmm. this for flipping for actual lots of profit. Actually, I was thinking about this because this smells like a dead cow, <laughs> which I think smells good. These chairs <laughs> smell like fabric softener and paint. We could market it as vegan leather, you know? Oh, it is, it's vegan it. leather, it is. I don't know if people agree with, you know, the fabric softener is vegan. 
Sure. Okay. Sure. Vegan leather. It's not chemical free. <laughs> vegan leather chairs that's a good marketing <laughs> if you enjoyed this video we're going to link another one above um, that explains more of our process so be sure to check that one out i'll see you guys next time bye bye so i got a text from jamie that said we're screwed it's raining <laughs> The camera survived. The camera was out in the rain too. Because we left it out in the bright sun to dry and then he came in and I was at the store and then all of a sudden it started downpouring and then there was just pools of paint.